Saint Francis Borgia S.J. was a Spanish Jesuit priest and served as the Order's third superior general. His liturgical feast was inserted into the general Roman calendar in 1688 for celebration every October 10. Francis Borgia was born on October 28, 1510, in Gandia, Valencia, Spain. He was the son of the Duke Juan Borgia of Gandia and the great-grandson of Pope Alexander VI. His mother was Juana, daughter of Alonso de Aragon, Archbishop of Zaragoza, the illegitimate son of King Ferdinand II of Aragon. His brother, Tomás de Borja y Castro, became the Bishop of Malaga and later Archbishop of Zaragoza. Francis grew to be a pious young man, possessed of many natural gifts and wished to become a monk. However, his family sent him to serve in the court of Holy Roman Emperor Charles V where he was welcomed warmly. He excelled there, accompanying the emperor on several campaigns. In September 1529, he married a Portuguese noblewoman named Leonor de Castro Melo e Menezes whom he had eight children. During this time, Charles V appointed him Marquis of Lombay, Master of the Hounds, and a query to the Empress. In 1539, he convoyed the corpse of Isabella of Portugal, Philip II of Spain's mother, to her burial place in Granada. That same year, Francis was appointed the Viceroy of Catalonia, he was only 29. It is said that during these years of his life, Francis enjoyed composing musical ecclesiastical pieces. In 1543, upon the death of his father, Francis became the fourth Duke of Gandia. However, his failed attempt at arranging a marriage between Prince Philip of Spain and the Princess of Portugal tainted his diplomatic abilities. In 1546, his wife Eleanor died. After putting his affairs in order where he renounced his titles and handed to his eldest son Carlos de Borja Aragon, Francis decided to enter the newly formed Society of Jesus and became a Jesuit priest. He helped establish what is now the Gregorian University in Rome. Pope Julius III made known his intention to make him a cardinal. However, Francis decided, in agreement with Saint Ignatius, to leave the city secretly and go to the Basque country, where it was thought he would be safe from the papal desires. He felt incompletion to spend time in seclusion and prayer, but his administrative talents also made him a natural for other tasks. In time, his friends persuaded him to accept the leadership role that nature and circumstances had destined him for. So in 1554, Francis became the Jesuit commissary general in Spain where he founded a dozen colleges. After only two years, Francis was bound for missions in the East and West Indies. In 1565, he was elected the third superior general of the Society of Jesus, after the death of Father Diego Lainez. His successes during his tenure described him as the greatest superior general after St. Ignatius. He founded the Collegium Romanum, which was to become the Gregorian University, advised kings and popes, and closely supervised all the affairs of the mushrooming order. He also introduced many reforms to the Society of Jesus. Yet, despite being the supreme, Francis led a humble life and was acclaimed in his own lifetime as a saint. He was a man of contemplation and action in the fullest sense and clearly drew much strength from the silence of his prayer. Father Francis Borgia died on September 30, 1572, in Rome, two days after returning from an apostolic journey to Spain. He was beatified in Madrid on November 23, 1624, by Pope Urban VIII. Nearly 35 years later, he was canonized by Pope Clement X on June 20, 1670. Parishes are dedicated to St. Francis Borgia in Chicago, Illinois, Sturgis, Kentucky, Washington, Missouri, Blair, Nebraska, Cedarburg, Wisconsin, and the village of Isio in the town of Kauaian Negros Occidental in the Philippines. The Jesuit-founded city of São Borja in southern Brazil was named after him. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.